I want to introduce Abby Askenazi, uh, who's a technology director of um, Zero Motorcycles. Zero Motorcycles are only doing perfectly zero emission uh, motorcycles and they're world number one. And we went to see their facility yesterday, some of us, which was a great privilege. This one is very exciting. I want to ask Abby a little bit of background. Abby, uh, you are making uh, these various motorcycles. You did off-road and on-road. Now right. you do mainly uh, on-road. Uh, we do both on-road, pure on-road, and dual purpose. Right. Bikes that could do both on-road right. and off-road. Yeah. Right, right. And uh, the you seem to be about number one in the world, don't yeah. you? Which is absolutely brilliant. Those electric motorcycles. And we, we are amazed at the depths you do, because you're going to speak shortly on the uh, motors where you developed your own. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, sure. Uh, so we, we have been doing electric motorcycles since 2006, yeah. uh, which is a very long time. You know, relative to this you know, new industry, uh, and very quickly we we discovered that you know motorcycles are your, a unique application, uh, light vehicles really are a unique application, and the the done in the e-bike world are too far from this very you know unique world that we live in, and so making bespoke motors, batteries, you know, all these different components that make this thing be as exciting as it is, uh, it's, just, it's just the world we live in. You can yeah. use this anywhere in the world, of course. You can plug it into a regular socket. Yeah, that's the other thing that's really great about these motorcycles. Most of our customers are commuters. Most of our customers ah. uh, use these bikes to get to work, to, you know, to move around cities. Um, and so when they get to work, when they get home, they just want to be able to plug in and have this thing charged in the background while they're having dinner, while they're sleeping, while they're working. And so we made it so you can plug to any outlet. Wonderful. But yeah. in a country area, you could have solar-powered charging stations, perhaps? Uh, yeah, you know, it, it, <laughs> there's a lot of really interesting usage cases. There's a customer of ours uh, who's got a cabin up in the woods, up in the mountains, and he bought one of our dual-purpose motorcycles, exactly, you know, the FX. Um, and he's got a water mill that runs off the river. Ah. So, so he goes out there and he rides off the river for a week at a time, oh, right? Oh, don't you love yeah. it? That's superb. So Tesla says that they are going to take all their charging stations off-grid yeah. and then they can be seen to be fully green but also they can be transportable and so on so I guess in many ways there are some echoes of Tesla with you they have outsold all the American premium cars I think are you going to do that with premium motorbike motorcycles? Uh, yeah, you know, we'll see. We 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 believe it's the future. How long it takes for motorcyclists to make the switch, um, you know, will be something that that yeah. we'll be watching very closely. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you that once you've gone electric on motorcycles, it's very difficult to go back yeah, to yeah, gas. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, yeah. the beauty thing, the beautiful thing about the you know electric motorcycles is that you don't have. Motorcycles are an exposed vehicle. You have an exposed yes. powertrain. Yes. So, you know, in an internal combustion engine yeah. motorcycle, which is very unlike a car, um, you have heat, you have fumes, you have noise, Absolutely. you have yeah. vibration, yeah. you have yeah. all these things yeah. that when you take them away, yeah. um, it's yeah. pretty magical, it's pretty and special. like Tesla, you don't have to pull your punches, you're not trying to preserve an old bang bang engine business, exactly. I guess, exactly. that's wonderful. Yeah. So your motor, you actually designed it so that yeah. uh, a motor, I gather that uh, if you bought it off the shelf, it had to be air cooled for the extra volume and weight and failure modes, and you actually worked out that water cooled, it had to go uh, you've worked out how to make it air cold. Yeah, cold. is that so, right? So the, the, we have this this philosophy uh, that's really been helpful to us. And any time that anyone gets on our motorcycles, the first time I got on on a zero motorcycle, what blows you away is is this magic carpet, right? The simplicity, the purity of the experience, right? So. We wanted to make sure, as, as we got on with you know, designing new generations of, of motorcycles, new platforms and all that, that we capture that, we, that we, in, we embrace that, if you will. So we have this thing called sophisticated simplicity, which is our philosophy, where if we can make solutions that are simple, uh, we know they're going to serve the experience better. Um, so if, if we can have a motor, for instance, that can deliver the power that we're after, the torque we're after, the efficiency we're after, and it doesn't have to be water-cooled, and it doesn't have to have all this you know, extra complaint, it doesn't have to have transmission, it doesn't have to, then we know that at the end we're going to deliver a better experience, which at the end of the game, 
we're in this in this you know electric motorcycle uh, world not because we think electric is is necessarily you know the thing the experience the experience yeah, yeah, yeah. of electric is just yeah. a wonderful wonderful yeah. wonderful yeah. wonderful and this yeah. superb powertrain is suitable for other things yeah absolutely so once once we've developed the the, the powertrain and and you know and really we're quite successful with it we we became, we became aware of the fact that there's all kinds of things that this thing could power. Uh, so there's a competitive um, uh, race kart manufacturing, racing kart, racing go kart manufacturer in California, Rattlesnake Go Karts, uh, that uses our powertrain and is quite competitive. Uh, there's a different, uh, uh, more of a commercial go kart manufacturer in Europe uh, yeah. for recreational go karts is using our powertrain. Uh, there's there's just a lot of very and different what applications. What I call jet skis, but it's a trade name. We have to say generically those things, those uh, things but yeah. it trails those beautifully. And uh, yeah. so your potential, even in motorcycles, it must be going from your present thousands up to hundreds of thousands. Yeah, you know, again, we, we really see a huge potential in this light vehicle space or light mobility space uh, that that is not being, so you have, again, you have the e-bike stuff that is working great, but it's, you know, it's, it's a cottage industry, millions of units, you have e-cars, that are that are starting to be very successful, but those technologies do not power this this light vehicle space, yeah, yeah. whereas our technology does very yeah. well. Well, most impressive. Thank you for a brief interview. That's really uh, quite a cracker. We think that uh, although you're independent, there must be some giants eyeing you. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you. So we had the ID Tech X show, and uh, who are you? Hi, my name's Shannon. I work at Zero Motorcycles. And what we have right here is one of our model, our model line FX. Um, it's one of the base models that we have, and it, it has a new 7.2 battery. Um, and this model and the FXS over here are similar. So let's go around. Okay. So you have a black stylish one right here. Right, so this is our FXS model, which is street legal. They're all street legal. And uh, it has actually the street, more street focused tires as opposed to uh, a more of a bike tire that can ride on the dirt. And so, uh, what's running it? So this is zero, that means uh, electric? So, so this is the actual motor. So we're a, we're a, um, so we're a yeah. motorcycle company, right? So basically, what we've got. Can I film what you're saying? Sure. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. So these are these are the uh, these are the powertrains, right? Okay. So so this is the motor um, out of our FX bike, the motor and the battery. So this will put out to about 46 horsepower. This is the battery and the motor out of our SR and our DSR bike, and this will put out uh, 70 horsepower and about 116 foot-pounds of torque. So that's what this bike and this bike have, or the you know the, the additional uh, horsepower there. How so, far is the range? So depending on the bike, the bike with the biggest range is about 200 miles around town, and then about half that on the highway. So highway, sustained highway speeds drain the battery pretty quick. But yeah, you're looking a couple hundred miles around town. And the speed? Uh, 100 miles an hour is where we top out. It's kind of like too fast to, to be safe, no? Uh, 100 miles an hour is pretty yeah, fast. That, that's all good. Yeah, that's yeah. all good, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, how do you do this technology? Did, did you do a lot of innovation in here? Well, yeah, so this is all our technology, all from the ground up. I mean, we developed this motor back in 2013 from the ground up. Um, and, uh, you know, the battery technology, uh, you know, we work real close with our cell manufacturer. And then we basically build the, you know, build the packs, get the cells from them and build the packs. So, yeah, these bikes are built from the ground up as electric motorcycles. You know, we don't take a bike and put a motor in it. So how do you get this powertrain done? And uh, this this could be applied not only to motor motorbikes. Well, so that's one of the reasons we're here. We're primarily a motorcycle company, but we're branching out into, into the powertrain. So, you know, so the powertrains, um, you know, are something that, uh, you know, we're starting to see, uh, you know, some other folks. Uh, we, we've got some go-kart companies that are using them. We have some stand-up watercraft companies that are that are going electric. Uh, so yeah, there's definitely you know definitely a lot of a uh, lot of opportunity out there. Is it powerful enough for uh, the flying car? We're not flying yet. You're not yeah. flying yet. Yeah. yeah. But uh, cars? Yeah. Can yeah. You I get mean, into you know, cars? Yeah. Some of the smaller cars. I mean, you know, you're, if you look at the horsepower, I mean, this puts out 70 horsepower. 
So, you know, 70 horsepower is, you know, some of the real small cars are a lot less than that. So, yeah. Can you talk some more about the bike? So, sure. uh, how many do you sell of this one, this car? Uh, so, this is our DSR, um, and this is our, uh, our on-off-road bike. Um, this bike right here is a 14.4 kilowatt hour battery. You're at about a 200 mile range around town, about half that on the highway. This is our on off road bike. So, you know, it'll, it'll, you can do the dirt roads as well as, uh, you know, as well as the street. Um, I can turn it on and show you how the dash works if you like. You want to get me yeah. on the other side? Yeah, I'll get a better view right of it. So, when you turn the dash on, you can watch and it just kind of takes a second, it cycles through. This is your clock, it tells you how much your state of charge, your speedometer, your odometer, there's a trip odometer that you can set, there's a motor temperature here. This shows your output and your regen uh, when the bike's running. This is the mode that it's in, so that's a sport mode and there's a button here. So there's a sport mode, an eco mode, and a custom mode. The custom mode, the bikes actually have Bluetooth and they talk to your phone and in the custom mode, you can actually adjust your torque and your regen and your speed, and you can map the custom mode for what you would like it, you know, what you want it to do. So, um, so this is the, the big one. Right. So this we do big two, one, you have a small two different one? platforms. So this platform is a smaller battery. So the, these two bikes share the same platform with the bigger battery, and that the bigger battery you can see right there on the table, and then the smaller battery on the other table is what these two bikes carry. So this and is it's right battery. here, the battery. This is the battery, right here. Right and it's the a perfect battery. place to put a battery? Yeah, the weight distribution's great. It feels just like a standard bike, absolutely. Uh, how does it feel, actually? Um, uh, and uh, are there lots of competitors doing electric uh, motorbikes? Uh, you know, right now, we're, we outsell all the other competitors combined. There's a couple companies that are up and coming, and we're going to see a lot more in the next two or three years. So um, you're the number one in the world. We are, yeah, and we welcome the competition. I mean, it's uh, you know just shows that the market market's viable, and you know. So that means yeah. lots of people are buying these. Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. Yeah, they're very popular. But yeah. uh, it could grow much faster very quickly, or. Uh, yeah, I mean it's growing. How big is the motorbike market in the world? It's, well, you know that's millions, the, that's no? the thing. No, well, it's a fraction of cars, right? Fraction, so, yeah. the, and then and then electric is even a smaller fraction of the motorcycle market, right? So, <laughs> so it's something that uh, that's growing. Uh, you know, every year we're we're growing substantially. What's the price? Uh, you know, we start about eighty five hundred dollars and we go up to about eighteen thousand. So it just depends on the bike. Eighty five hundred dollars doesn't sound so expensive, right? No, no, not at all. How does it compare with a traditional? You know, uh, normally more power and more torque than the same type of a bike, you know, same size bike. If you look at this bike here, this is the equivalent to about a 450 cc bike, um, you know, horsepower and torque wise. And, uh, you know, there's no, no maintenance other than tires and brake pads. You know, turn it on, twist the throttle, and go. You don't have to ship, shift it. You don't have to do anything. And usually, one of those bikes cost uh, like five thousand or something. Uh, so the gas bike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gas bikes are probably in the you know five, six thousand dollar range. So, so these are a little bit more. these are a little bit more, but it comes back to you because there's no maintenance. There's you no never gas. have to do an oil change. You never have to do a tune-up. Anything. A clutch. It's just you know the maintenance you just on these tires and brake pads. And you know the charge on this bike to go 90 miles is about a dollar's worth of electricity. And you uh, get zero to 60 pretty fast. Very fast, yeah. Faster yeah, the, than the other bikes. Oh yeah, that that the white street bike in the corner is our flagship, the SR, and that's zero to 60 in about 3.2 seconds. That's scary, no? Uh, People not fall scary. off the it's bike. Fun. They gotta hang on. You gotta hang on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>